some snacks make total sense and have a pretty reasonable amount of common sense behind them. Of course people eat tree nuts, fruits, vegetables, and even slicing up potatoes and turning them into chips has some level of logic that we can all grasp. But what about popcorn? Not only is the process of turning corn kernels into a movie time snack some sort of bizarre black magic, but how was it discovered anyways? And how did it reach the level of incredible popularity that it has today? Well, why don't you snag a bucket of some for yourself, kick back, and let's talk about the history of popcorn. Three Minute Flex, entertaining, educating, and enlightening. The absolute origin of popping corn is pretty hard to pin down, but it seems that the earliest evidence comes from Peru in the form of puffed kernels stuffed inside corn cobs roughly 6,700 years ago. Prior to that, corn had been cultivated as an incredibly nutritious and versatile crop. The transformation from kernel to popcorn obviously had nothing to do with needing a convenient and fitting movie time snack, and instead originated from the simple ability to dry the kernels for transportation. Dried kernels stayed edible for much longer, and while they couldn't be eaten in their rock-solid dry state, they could easily be prepared over the most universal cooking tool, good old-fashioned fire. Early popcorn likely has much more resembled parched corn, however, which is something more along the lines of corn nuts than traditional popcorn. Anyone who's had corn nuts know that there's nothing particularly puffy about the snack, and it is instead much more hard and crunchy. Luckily, many years of experimentation with the drying process perfected the necessary amount of moisture in the kernel, eventually creating the crunchy yet puffy and soft popcorn that we know today. Into the mid-1800s, corn would become an absolutely massive crop for the entirety of North and South America. Being a relatively forgiving crop and being able to be eaten readily or dried and stored for many months. However, popcorn's massive explosion in popularity wouldn't be until 1885, when Charles Creeders invented a portable electric machine capable of popping kernels in oil and freeing the vendor up to migrate with the crowds. Further additions to the device would add a convenient contraption for mixing the kernels with butter and salt. And with all popular snacks, once popcorn became greasy and salty, people couldn't get enough of it. Popcorn technology would continue to expand and grow rapidly. For a salty and sweet snack, popcorn would be coated in sugar or molasses, and different spices could be used to distinguish a merchant's kernels from other stands. With a variety of flavors, relatively inexpensive ingredients, and the ability to prepare the snack on the go, popcorn would become the go-to snack at sporting events, festivals, and county fairs. In the early to mid-1900s, Movie theaters flooded across America, and while snacks and drinks would originally be banned from the earliest theaters who strived to uphold an atmosphere of grandeur and class, eventually the call of crisp American dollars would shred that ban off entirely. The switch to popcorn was practically a no-brainer. Eventually regarded as the affordable luxury, popcorn tasted and appeared to be high quality while being remarkably inexpensive for the theaters and vendors to supply. Rather than enjoying a movie with a glass of wine and an empty stomach, Instead, the theaters began to become a place for families to enjoy with a cold soda and a bucket of popcorn. The appeal of popcorn has persisted since then as well. With a multitude of easy ways to prepare and a variety of exciting flavors, it still somehow managed to keep a very reasonable price tag. Well, except for the absurd movie theater markup, that is. Three Minute Flex. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We create new videos weekly.